In a world where nuclear war has begun, vampires fought back in super real 3D. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back in business. I had put out a video about my experience with Premiere Pro 2022 not being able to play back in real time the Canon RAW files coming out of my Canon EOS R5C. And we are talking about 8K files or the 6K files. And um, yet Premiere 2021 was capable of playing back in near real time. Adobe Premiere 2021 version, but look at the playback here. In half resolution, that's totally acceptable. This is 8K footage in half resolution. You're playing back 4K. That is totally fine. I do have a nice computer. You do need a nice computer to be able to edit these files, but it made no sense that I was getting this kind of performance in 2021 version of Premiere, and then this pitiful, uneditable experience in 2022, and then I was split between projects. If I hit play, I have hit play, and this is the playback experience that we get. What is the solution? Well, after putting up the video, I also contacted Puget Systems. Puget Systems is who made my computer. I bought it like a year and a half ago, and John Allman stepped up to the plate, helped me troubleshoot back and forth a bit, sent a file to him, and uh, at the end of it, he took a random guess as to, it's not just this, is it? Because it's one click that actually changed everything for me. You can change your resolution, that's what I've always done, change my resolution, but if you click on the wrench icon in your program monitor, that's where your video window is, click on that wrench icon and then it'll open up other options. There you will see playback resolution can be selected there as well. Uh, but underneath that is something called high quality playback. And I had it checked by default in the 2022 version of Premiere. It was not checked in the 2021 version. When I unchecked, when I disabled that, um, and hit play on the 8K footage, it's been playing back beautifully. I've already uh, begun editing something in it and it's doing just fine. It feels just like what I was experiencing in 2021. But I wanted to be using 2022 because I have some projects that are halfway started in 2022 and I was split. Here I was chopping Canon footage in 2021 so then I could export it in a certain format to bring into the 2022 project. It was turning into a nightmare and a big crippling factor of the camera that wasn't really the camera's fault. I knew it was something on Adobe's end and then at the end of the day, it actually turns out it's completely all my absent-minded fault and not even really knowing what that option does. But apparently when you're playing back footage in Premiere, even when it's set at a high resolution, um, it still plays back somewhat softer than the pristine actual image that it can be capable of. Now, I haven't experimented with it, I just, you know, to see the actual difference, but I could give a crap about having that extra pristine sharpness if it doesn't play back. And in this case, turning off that allows me real-time playback. So I'm back in the game. My Canon EOS R5C is super powered now as I can delve into, back into Premiere 2022, and I, I can now weave it into these long-running projects that I've uh, you know, brought this new camera in, but I've been filming this other project for months. So good luck with that. I really hope that solves your issue. One other thing I could recommend is if you're having poor performance, some, two things to keep in mind is that do affect things, and I just know this from experience. Your Lumetri scopes, if you have your scopes out, that can absolutely bog down your performance. So if you have that scopes window open and you're experiencing that bad performance, do shut that. Only use it when you're actually going to color grade and even then, you know, if it, if it staggers too much, it will be too frustrating to use, but that can be a culprit. And another culprit that I've experienced that can cause all kinds of weird oddities and issues is uh, anything that you do with sound inside of Premiere is suspect. And in particular, if you're using plugins, and I made a video about that before, if your Premiere project won't even open and stuff, it could very well be because you're using plugins. And I went into in depth on how to recover that project. If you, you wanna check that video out, it's very helpful. Uh, I, I wish I had known that information that took days to figure out. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a ongoing community effort to learn these software systems and the cameras and everything. So if you'd like to follow along with actual R5, see videos and see test footage and all kinds of fun things I'm doing with it. Plus, just learning about cameras and gear and editing, please do subscribe. That would be super awesome or give this video a like if it helped you save the day. And by all means, please do, let's make this a community thread. Please comment if it did work for you so people can just immediately see that that was what solved it for them. And if it didn't, 
and it was something else that you figured out, please put that information down here. I want this to be more like a form of figuring it out because I did have people participate, chime in on my original video talking about this and nobody quite hit the nail on the head like John Allman did from um, Puget Systems. So. Go Puget Systems. I'm probably a lifetime PC member of uh, buying computers from them because the computer that they have built for me is fantastic. It's great. It made no sense that I was experiencing what I was and that's what the solution was. All right, guys, I really, really hope that that helped because this camera is fantastic and fun and this was a real big letdown just waiting for some new update to happen from Premiere and meanwhile, it was just disabling that one feature. All right, peace. Take care, guys. Movie Voice.